Today, we are going to learn about Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony was a teacher, was a speaker around the country, and she fought for women's rights, especially a woman's right to vote. Let's look at the life of this extraordinary woman. Susan B. Anthony was born in 1820 to a Quaker family. The Quakers are a type of religious group, and the Quakers believed that men and women should have equal rights. This had a big impact on Susan B. Anthony when she was a child. Now back then, only men were allowed to vote. This made Susan B. Anthony very frustrated. She thought it was only fair for women to be able to vote too. Susan B. Anthony was a teacher, but quit when she saw how unfairly women were paid. Susan B. Anthony decided to travel the country making speeches. She wanted everyone in the country to hear about the cause of women's rights. Many people disagreed with her. Sometimes people would shout at her or even throw eggs at her when she spoke. But guess what? She never gave up. In 1872, Susan B. Anthony voted, even though it was illegal. She was arrested for doing what she felt was right. And guess what? She refused to pay the fine. She said that she would not pay a fine that was unjust or unfair. Susan B. Anthony continued to fight for women's rights until she died in 1906 and because of her in 1920 14 years after she passed away women won the right to vote in 1972 to celebrate all she did in life Susan B Anthony became the first woman to be on a US coin it was called the Anthony dollar. Susan B. Anthony, what an amazing life she led. She was a teacher, she was a speaker around the country, and she fought for women's rights and she made a huge difference that we still experience today. Thank you so much for watching this video on Susan B. Anthony. We hope that it was inspirational and we hope that you learned something new and we hope to see you again soon.